guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Chef Pam and this is Chef and More. We are getting ready to make an all time classic guys, just for the holidays. Cornish hens, they're amazing at Thanksgiving or any holiday. And guys, if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes made from scratch, the easy and simple way. Subscribe guys, subscribe, tap that bell, so you'll always be notified every time I upload another amazing delicious recipe. Because guys, I have a whole channel full of food and dishes that'll get you there. Let's get busy. Okay guys, we're going to be baking our Cornish hens in a cast iron skillet. Yes guys, a cast iron skillet. The first thing we want to do is to make sure they're patted dry. Now I have brined these Cornish hens overnight. I brine them in a simple solution of water, kosher salt, and cayenne pepper. Just let them soak overnight in that solution. They've been cleaned before that. I clean them, then I brine them, now I'm drying them off. You want them to be as dry as possible, guys. That makes the skin crispy up. It makes the skin nice and crispy. Yes, it does. So we, that's what we want. So make sure you dry them, the backs as well as the tops of them. Get them all dried off really well. Make sure you get everything dried off, guys. Okay. Now before we begin dressing our little Cornish hens, I'm gonna sit them aside and we're gonna prepare all of our seasoning so that we can just go one, two, three. First, I have a plate here that includes the Trinity. The Trinity, guys, is celery, green pepper, and onion. So I have celery, green pepper, and onion. And as you can see, I have one little pile here and then larger pieces here. This little pile, these are going to go on the inside of the Cornish hens, and these are gonna go in the skillet on the outside of the Cornish hens. You wanna put the celery and green peppers and onions, and I have some rosemary here, on the outside, because that's going to flavor all those good juices that come out of the Cornish hens for us to later on make our gravy with. On the outside, guys, you're going to need some butter, or you can use olive oil. And I'm also using onion powder, garlic powder, white pepper, and complete. And I'm going to combine all of these as well as a little salt. I'm gonna combine all of these in this bowl so that when we season our Cornish hens, they will be well seasoned evenly. The butter we will put on first. Now guys, you can mix your seasonings in uh, with the butter, if you like, I like to do mine just a little bit different. So I'm going to baste them with the butter first and then add my seasonings on after that. And be generous with your seasonings, guys. Be generous with your seasonings. I'm going to have to open that all the way up to get that out of there. And guys, as you notice, I have my seasonings in my own little containers. That's because I buy my seasonings in bulk. And I buy them from a little place here in North Carolina called Berry Book Farm. I'm going to put their link in the description. They have amazing seasonings from around the world and they will ship to you. So check them out guys if you're interested in any seasonings. Okay, I'm going to get some more onion powder and salt and I'll be right back. Okay guys, we've got our seasonings all well blended together here. And I'm not big on measurements, but I will have all the complete measurements down in the description. Okay guys, so the first thing that we want to do to prepare our little Cornish hens, we've already dried them off. We wanna take the wings. We don't want the wings to stick out because as the bird cooks, they will go out that way. So what we want to do is take the wing and simply tuck it back behind back behind guys you want to take it put it back behind on each side just like that and lay him back down do the other one the same way tuck the wing back here both wings and lay it back down okay and i am actually 
going to turn this one this way because it gives it a little bit more room there. I'm gonna do it that way. Okay. Now, the first thing we want to do is put, let's get this over a little bit. We're going to put our lemon, rosemary, and green peppers on the inside. Just a quarter of a lemon. You don't want to stuff it so much that it's so tight because that way it'll take even longer to cook. So I'm putting just one little small piece of everything inside each one. One little piece of celery, one little piece of onion on the inside. That's gonna give these little birds amazing flavor on the inside. Again, over here on this one, just one little small piece of each. The Trinity, guys, the Trinity as well as some rosemary. The Trinity is green peppers, celery, and onion. Okay, now, the next thing I'm going to do, let me wash my hands real quick. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spoon and just take just a little bit of the seasoning, not much, just a little bit, and I'm going to put that on the inside as well. That on the inside as well. A little bit more. This is gonna produce amazing flavors, guys. Now, before we do anything else to the outside, we want to tie the legs. We want to tie the legs. I like to crisscross mine like this and tie them. Now, you need kitchen twine to tie them with. However, if you do not have kitchen twine, what you can use is dental floss. Okay, guys, just regular dental floss. So I'm gonna take a nice piece of dental floss, break that off, and it's okay that I've touched my bird and I'm touching this dental floss because I only have a couple of pieces left in here, so it'll be going, it'll be done with and I'll be throwing it away afterwards. I only have just a little bit left in there. Okay, so you want to put the string up under the legs you don't have to cross the legs, you can do them like that. I just think it's for a better presentation when you cross them. And you wanna take the piece of twine, or in this case, dental floss, and wrap it around the leg first. Wrap it around, the, and don't be afraid to pull it, and wrap the other one going in the other direction around. Don't be afraid to pull it. And then you just wanna tie it. You're just going to tie it in a knot, guys. It's kind of hard to see because my hands are almost the size of, the size of the birds. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to tie it one more time to make sure it's tight. And then you just take a knife when you're all done. The birds are all done. The Cornish hens are done. And you just cut the cut the twine, or in this case, the dental floss. You just cut it off before serving. Okay. And it's okay if you have a little piece hanging down or something, it's, it's okay. All right, guys, so that's how you tie the bird up. I'm gonna get this one tied and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, and if you don't want the little extra string hanging on, just cut it off. Real simple, real easy. Okay, so our legs are nicely, make sure you guys can see that, they're nicely tied up together. Okay, so the next thing, guys, we're going to do, we're going to take our butter, and we're just going to take and rub the butter all over, all over. This is melted butter, or slightly melted butter, guys. Just want to make sure get that wing down in there so it'll lay flat. Get the butter all over. And put lots of it on there, guys. This is what's going to keep the bird moist. And this is what's going to keep them nice and crispy in the end.
washing your hands, guys. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to lay these down here in the sides of the skillet. Couple of pieces on the front end, couple of pieces on the back end of everything. You can have more than you had on the inside because this is just flavoring all those juices that come out. That's what this, this is doing. Getting it nice and flavorful, guys. Okay. And a piece of lemon. I want to put that lemon in there, guys. I want to put that lemon in there. Now, we're going to season our bird. We just want to take our season. Now, you can use your fingers if you like. You can use a spoon if you like. You can use gloves. You can use whatever you want to use. Just make sure you kind of do it evenly. That's all you want to do, guys, is put it on there kind of evenly. We are going to roast these in a 350 degree oven for maybe about an hour and 40, 45 minutes. So we'll be back when they're all done. Okay guys, our Cornish hens are in the oven. They are cooking probably for about an hour, 45 minutes, an hour and 45 minutes. Um, while they are cooking, I just wanted to come on and say that the Cornish hens are cooking pretty much just the way I would cook my turkey. Just adjust your seasonings. You will need more seasonings, more butter, more celery, more of the trinity, the celery, the green peppers, and the onion. It's all made from scratch, but it's all the same. You're going to adjust your uh, temperature. Now for my turkeys, I do cover them. I do start them on 400 for the first hour. Then I drop it down for 350 degrees. That's Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit oven. Also, I cook them 20 minutes per pound. So however big your turkey is, you want to cook it 20 minutes per pound covered. Most turkeys these days have a ready-made thermometer in them and it will pop out when it's done, unless you have an absolutely fresh turkey. But if you buy a frozen, like a Butterball or any turkey like that, your store brand name, it typically comes with a little pop-up timer in there. So keep the turkey covered. You wanna baste it once per hour. Keep it covered until that little popper pops out. Once it pops out, uncover the turkey and let her brown. Now you want to rotate the turkey every five or 10 minutes, depending on the browning, how fast your oven is browning. But the reason you want to rotate it is so that you can get that even beautiful color across the whole turkey. Yes. And this is a picture of my last turkey so that you can see how it was browned all around. Okay guys, I'm gonna go in here and baste them soon and we'll be back when they're all done. Okay guys, our Cornish hens are done. Let's bring them out of the oven. Awesome.
Yes, guys, these are amazing, amazing, amazing. Look at that, guys. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Piping hot, piping hot out the oven. Guys, here's our Cornish hens. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today. If you are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload another amazing, delicious recipe. These are made from scratch Cornish hens just in time for Thanksgiving or any holiday or any time of the year. If you are subscribed to me, thank you so much for your awesome and amazing support. Give me a thumbs up, guys. Leave me some comments. Tell me what you think about these Cornish hens. What seasonings do you use on yours? I'd love to know. Guys, I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Okay guys, our Cornish hens are done. Let's bring them out of the oven. Awesome, guys. Yes, guys, these are amazing, amazing, amazing. Look at that, guys. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Piping hot, piping hot out the oven. Guys, Here's our Cornish hens. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today. If you are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead guys, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload another amazing delicious recipe. These are made from scratch Cornish hens just in time for Thanksgiving or any holiday or any time of the year. If you are subscribed to me, thank you so much for your awesome and amazing support. Give me a thumbs up, guys. Leave me some comments. Tell me what you think about these Cornish hens. What seasonings do you use on yours? I'd love to know. Guys, I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Okay, guys, our Cornish hens are done. Let's bring them out of the oven. Awesome, guys. Yes, guys, these are amazing, amazing, amazing. Look at that, guys. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Piping hot, piping hot out the oven. Guys, Here's our Cornish hens. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today. If you are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead guys, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload another amazing delicious recipe. These are made from scratch Cornish hens just in time for Thanksgiving or any holiday or any time of the year. If you are subscribed to me, thank you so much for your awesome and amazing support. Give me a thumbs up, guys. Leave me some comments. Tell me what you think about these Cornish hens. What seasonings do you use on yours? I'd love to know. Guys, I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise.